last July we followed a crew from the Washington Geological Survey into the southwest part of the state. Their job to use an instrument to detect differences in gravity to better locate the Doty Hills Fault as different rock formations have slightly more gravitational pull than others. 0.673. Since the 1950s, the shape of the mountains here provided clues that a fault was out there, but it's not a fault we know much about. And sometimes it takes an earthquake for a fault to show up. What it looks like has happened is that these earthquakes have kind of shown how there's a bunch of connected fault, you know, at depth in the earth that's not really showing up in our surface mapping, at least prior to this. Harold Tobin is the state seismologist and leads the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, which tracks earthquakes in our region. And as much as we thought scientists knew about Southern California, they didn't know everything. I've been over the whole region, even to the south. Now with the University of Washington, Paul Bowden studied faults in the area around Ridgecrest, California. There are known faults under the oranges and the blues and reds. These are all uh, uh, minor actors in the, in the uh, geologic story going on down there capable of, say, a fairly small magnitude 5, not a strong magnitude 7.1. Only a small chunk of one of those previously known fault lines ended up under the yellow dash line that was Friday's quake. We can only map what we can find evidence for, so of course that's the way the mapping actually works. And compared to a couple of decades ago, we know a great deal more about the faults and their what we call paleo-seismic history. It, at some level, it's that we simply don't know. And even the faults we know something about, like the Seattle Fault, is clearly seen crossing Bainbridge Island in this LIDAR image taken with lasers from a specially equipped airplane, don't tell us everything. The UW and the U.S. Geological Survey looking to see if those faults even extend through the Cascade Mountains into eastern Washington through a technique called trenching to see where the dirt and rocks below don't quite line up, suggesting older quakes but even a tiny earthquake can tell us what our own eyes can't. And we track and locate earthquakes even down to tiny magnitudes, way below what people actually feel, right? We're routinely measuring earthquakes of magnitude one and below. No one's ever gonna feel those earthquakes, but they help us potentially map out the areas of seismic activity that could ultimately lead to, to larger earthquakes. And I think it's, it's highly possible that, that we could have bigger earthquakes here than our current fault maps tell us. But in the earlier fault maps from California, that fault didn't even show up, even in the exposed earth of the California desert, which is why fault detection is even more difficult here in Washington, not just because of all the trees and the water, Puget Sound, Lake Washington, etc., but the glaciers of the ice ages have scraped away much of the evidence of our older geological fault history. So, Glenn, a lot of people are talking about California's big one, but we have a big one coming at some Different point Different kind here. of an animal. Ours, okay. Our big one, as we think of it, is the big fault off the coast, the Cascadia subduction zone, where the ocean floor is being pushed under the west coast. Hmm. That doesn't really exist in California south of Cape Mendocino. That is capable of a magnitude 9. Nobody wants to mess with the Seattle Fault or the South Whidbey Fault or the Tacoma Fault. Those are capable of high sixes and a magnitude seven. Mm -hmm. And because we don't know how long it is, we don't know the full capabilities of that. And because unlike this area in California, which is fairly remote, remote small towns, consider where we're standing. Very populated area. Yeah, so bottom line, we all should have a plan. We should have a plan. <laughs> Okay, yeah. and that's where I come in that's where on you this come next in. story. Exactly. We're talking <laughs> exactly. about preparation.